brick was that shitty ochre colour. It's the type of yellow that makes you wonder how anyone approved its selection. The room was small, laid with objects of importance, objects that identify and personify a soul. The room embodied a life. It encapsulated an existence. It distilled a full experience into a few notable possessions. The room is a window into the past and the present. With no reference to the future.
It was a weak hand that made these brush strokes. They lack definition. The color palette is as bold as love. Echoing a vibrancy that belies his reserved exterior. His art would tell me the story of the man inside. Like the passion that emerged after a few drinks. Or the loose love he would throw around in my age of innocence.
was just slowing down. Just slowing down. Didn't quite seem his self anymore. He liked that sharp wit. A wit that often seemed so tinged with venom. His kids, they heard him talking to no one in the attic. Capability degrades, notable and ignorable. Aging is a hell of a thing. I always thought he was just slowing down. Just slowing down. around topics we never dared acknowledge before. My brother took this opportunity to bridge the ravine. A ravine previously deemed impossible. I guess the new technology allowed for such engineering feats. But my firmware hadn't been upgraded. The physical connections are damaged. Hardware units in need of an upgrade. Scheduled for an unreachable future. Thank <laughs> you. 
was told that you had left without saying goodbye. I was just indifferent. Perhaps even relieved. I was so done with the holding pattern. I really just wanted to land. Later, I saw you again on a big screen in that vaguely modernist 1970s room filled with colleagues and friends and family all describing who you are or who you were. It was only then that I realized that I had forgotten you.
when I connect the cable, there's a flicker as the connection handshakes. The colors on the panel distort and corrupt. But occasionally the picture shows just as it should. Maybe it's a dodgy cable. Perhaps I should have paid extra for the gold-plated anti-fray mesh job. The one I've always considered to be snake oil. I've tried various cables though. All of them show the same signs of degradation in the image. Desperate times call for desperate measures and a healthy dose of delusion when the need arises or the mood takes me. Sometimes you just need to accept that the equipment is beyond repair. It's a role that I play when I see and feel their discomfort. Perhaps I'm feeling my own discomfort, which then manifests as a need to instigate conversational flow. I'm not sure if this makes me uniquely equipped to have a one-sided conversation or to feed my participant with a breadcrumb trail of words and topics. Or perhaps it's because of my experience doing exactly this that has given me these gifts.
think about why I am the way I am and where the various parts of me come from. Sometimes it's obvious and agreeable. Other times it's obvious and annoying. And further still, it is sometimes obvious and fucking upsetting. I'm an iterative technology. Troubleshoot upgraded, redesigned and repackaged. I'm the latest model. But the tech moves so fast that I'll soon be obsolete. I regularly find lines of legacy code in my back end. I feel the bloat of some of it as it runs my battery down faster than it otherwise would. It's a byproduct of a system that allows for backwards compatibility. A function that sometimes proves to be useful. It was only then that I realized that I'd forgotten you.